Hey everyone, welcome to LeetCode Programming Solutions. My name is Funny and today I'll be talking about word search. Let's take a look at the problem description. Given a 2D board and a word, find if the word exists. It sounds simple, right? Let's take an example to understand this. So this is a 2D board consisting of letters and the given word is apple. Can you check if the word apple is part of this board? Yes. So in this case, we need to return true. Now, how do we solve this problem? So we shall use DFS and backtracking. So don't be scared of DFS or backtracking. It's actually simple. Let's go back to the example and see how it works. The idea here is to start from the first letter in the board and compare it with the first letter in the word. If they are equal, then we want to recursively check from this letter in all directions and see if the corresponding letters in the word match. In case the letter in the board doesn't match the letter in the word, then we backtrack and move on to the next letter in the board. It is completely fine if you did not follow what I said just now. You will be able to understand it once we start the simulation. So let's do that fun part now. So like I said, let's start with the first letter in the board, which is row zero and column zero and compare it with the first letter in the word. So I'll call it word index. Now is letter T equal to A? No. So what we'll do is we'll try to explore the other elements in the board. So now let's move to the next letter. So we are at row zero and column one in the board. So is letter A in the board equal to letter A in the word? So this is true. So what we'll do is we will have to do a depth first search starting from this letter in the board and check with all the letters in the word. So for that, first what we'll do is we will save this letter to some temporary variable. And then we want to mark this letter so that whenever with depth first search, uh, there is a chance that you will revisit this letter. So we want to mark this. So we will mark it with a star and then we will increment this word index so that we want to check the next letter. We want to compare the next letter. Now let's do these three things. So firstly, I will save this letter A to a temporary variable. I'm representing it this way just for our understanding. You don't have to create a stack. And then we will mark this letter A with a star. And now we will increment this word index by one. So after this, what we need to do is we want to explore or visit the left neighbor of this node A first. So let's do that. Now we are at row zero and column zero. Is letter T equal to letter P? Is this true? No. So what we'll do is we backtrack. So we go back up in the recursion. Now let's explore the right neighbor of A. So here um, again uh, is letter P equal to this letter P. So this is true. Now what we'll do is we'll first save this letter and then we will mark this letter P with a star. So we'll do that and then we'll increment this word index uh, by one. So we are moving to the uh, second, third letter in the word. And now let's explore the neighbors of P. So let's do that. Firstly, we'll check the left neighbor as always. So we are visiting the left neighbor. Here is a star equal to P. This is not true. So again, we backtrack. Now we'll visit the right neighbor of this uh, element here. So, uh, so we are visiting this. Is V equal to P? This is also not true. 
Um, so what we'll do is we backtrack. And now we have visited the left neighbor and the right neighbor. Now we want to visit the top neighbor. So here row is minus one. So this is uh, out of uh, uh, bounds. So what we'll do is we backtrack. So we backtrack. Now we'll visit the bottom neighbor. So for that, we'll increment the row by one. Now let's compare these two letters. Is P equal to P? This is true. So what we'll do is we will first save this letter P and then mark this letter with a star. And now let's increment the word index by one. And after this, we'll visit the neighbors of this uh, element, the second P here. Now we're visiting the left neighbor of P. So here is Q equal to L, uh, no. So we backtrack. Now let's visit the right neighbor of P. So again, here is Y equal to L, no. So we backtrack again. Now let's visit the top neighbor of P. Here uh, is star equal to L, no. Uh, so we backtrack again. Now let's visit the bottom neighbor of letter P. So here L is equal to L. So we'll save this letter. We'll mark it with a star. We'll increment the word index by one and we'll move to the left neighbor of letter L. So here E is equal to E. So we'll save this letter. We'll mark it with a star. We'll increment the word index by one. And now let's visit the left neighbor of letter E. So here, the word index, the word index here is equal to the length of the or the size of the word. And now let's visit the left neighbor of letter E. So here the word index is equal to the length of the word. And now this is the recursive function's base case. So if this condition is true, then we return true to the function that called this. Now let's return back to the calling function with the boolean value true. So here what we'll do is we'll start replacing these stars with the characters that we saved. So I'll run through this simulation here. And finally, all of the characters are replaced and now uh, the boolean value true is returned back to the original function that called this recursive function. So let's return that. And finally, let's do a recap of what we have done till now. So we'll start with the first character in the board, compare it with the character in the word. If there is a match, then we do a DFS and recursively check for match for the other characters. If the match fails, then we backtrack and start from the next letter. Now, with this understanding, let us write the code. So here, first thing that we, we can do is, we can check if the board is empty or null. So if board is equal to null, or my word is null, or if the board, if the board length is equal to zero, then I want to return false. Now, what we want to do is we want to go through every character in the board. So for that, we'll say for int row is equal to zero, row is less than board dot length. And for every column, It's board of zero dot length. So here I want to write a function, recursive function called word search that will take in the row, current row, the current column, the board and the word, and also the word index. So we'll start from word index zero. Now this function, if this function returns true, then I want to return true. 
that means we have found the word. If we have gone through all the characters in the board and we haven't found the word, then we will return false. Now let's write this recursive function called word search. So this will return a boolean. It will take in the row, the column, the board. the word and the word index. Now for any recursive function, the first thing that we have to write is the base case. So like we saw earlier, the base case here is if my word index is equal to the word dot length, then I will return true. So that means that I've found the word. Now, if my uh, row, current row or column, if it's an invalid one, then I want to return false. So if my row is less than zero or row is greater than or equal to board.length or my column is less than zero or column is greater than or equal to board of zero dot length, I will return false. Now comes the part where we do the comparison. So if my board of row column, if it is equal to, or we'll take the case where it is not equal to the word dot care at the word index, then we will return false. If this is true, that means that we want to iteratively or recursively um, check for the other characters. So for that, we will do a DFS. So before doing the DFS, we want to save this current character. So I'll copy this and I'll have a character called temp that will hold this and I'll replace this with star. Now, I'll have a variable called output, boolean variable called output, and I will recursively search for uh, the character in the word and in the board in all directions. So for that, I'll do this. So word search of, so I'll take my previous column, which is column minus one, the board, the word, and then the word index plus one, because I want to check the next character, next and subsequent characters. So, or I want to go to the previous column. So I'll copy this. I want to go to the previous column. So, um, sorry, I'm going to go to the next column. So this is column plus one, and this is the previous column. Or I want to go to the previous row. Or I want to go to the next row from this current character. So, so once we have explored uh, in all four directions for that character, if in any of these scenarios, if we if we get a true output, then this output will be true. Uh, once we come back from this recursion, then we want to replace this character star with the temp. So I will replace this with temp. Uh, let's run this code. Okay, so this is an array, so it will not have that now. Okay, there's a missing statement here, so if you want to return this output. Uh, 
Okay, so this is working perfectly. I will submit the solution. Yeah, so this code is running perfectly. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please do subscribe for uh, more videos. Thank you.